Hey people, I am Shubhajit Roy, third year MBBS student at King George's Medical University, Lucknow. And I'll today at Analytical Minds have a detailed discussion on the life at King George's Medical University. There's so much to share, so let's start the video at once. So first of all, how was the first day at college? So the first day at college began at room number 606 of Kalam Center where all the classes right from first year to fourth year are held. So it began with the administration of the Hippocratic Oath and that was followed by the white coat ceremony. And the white coat, that is a piece of clothing which brings such a sense of pride amongst all medicos. And after that um, very inspiring moment, it was followed by introductory lectures that were taken uh, by faculties from all departments and we were made knowledgeable about the rich legacy and the history that, that is there of KGMU and that was followed by us getting the hostel rooms and the day uh, went about in exploring the campus uh, obviously King George's Medical University has such a huge uh, campus uh, so the entire day went about in uh, exploring it and knowing where is what Secondly, uh, how is my college different from other colleges of the state? So, uh, KGM is one of the apex institutes of not just Uttar Pradesh but of the entire nation. It has been consistently uh, been ranking in the top 10 medical uh, colleges, uh, both UG PG combined of the nation and top 5 UG medical institutes of the nation. And more, not just that, it is also the ICMR nodal centers for lot of ICMR and government uh, programs that are there. So uh, definitely it's one of the best and definitely the best here at Uttar Pradesh. Next is uh, what course curriculum is followed in my uh, college. So the course curriculum that is uh, followed is the one that is followed uh, all over India. That is the competency based medical education curriculum that has been uh, told by NMC, the National Medical Commission. Rather KGMC had, had, had a very essential role in the formulation of this uh, curriculum and KGMU has been trying to implement this uh, since a long time and uh, after all this has been uh, employed uh, implemented uh, rather um, pan india next uh, how is the teaching faculty here now uh, KGMU has a long list of uh, great alumni and uh, great teachers and yes we do boast of teachers who have been uh, padma bhushan awardees uh, padma vibhushan padma shri awardees and also the very very prestigious dr bc roy awardees so and not just that there are lo lots of books which are followed pan india in medical schools that have been authored by some of the faculties teaching here at kgmu so it is definitely we feel ourselves really blessed and really fortunate enough that uh, we are being taught by such great faculties it's a great learning opportunity i believe right uh, uh, from first year as you start with anatomy physiology and biochemistry and till fourth year with um, medicine surgery and even uh, the super speciality uh, branches that, that are there and the teaching uh, ambience that is there the teaching facilities there are definitely one of the best in the countries it can't get uh, better than this at least in india and uh, De definitely there are a lot of uh, advantages that I believe like just in f first if you take an example the number of students per cadaver in anatomy that is there is obviously very less here at KGMU so uh, students get a more opportunities to learn hand-on that is there and the library facilities that are there in every department and also we do have a central library then because of the huge patient load that is there you know, students um, get to learn a lot from the clinical departments and uh, not just that the clinical skill development is very good here and the clinical skills that uh, georgians develop are believed to be one of the best not just in the nation but uh, in the world and uh, that's one thing i think georgians can uh, really boast of and not just this i feel because we have such a large number of departments that are there right from um, the pre-clinical paraclinical clinical specialties and the super specialities that's why the learning opportunity that is presented here at kgmu is unlike most of other institutes that are there in india and no doubt it's one of the apex institutes uh, in india ranking almost in parity with uh, aims delhi and the other apex institutes we believe and how is the campus infrastructure and classroom if you go into that aspect the i think kgmu is one of uh, those institutes uh, in the nation who's known for its 
campus. It's just like a palace of made of white uh, marble, and it's huge, uh, spread across acres of land. There are close to or more, rather more than 100 uh, departments that are there, and uh, there are five satellite hospitals that are there, starting from the Shatavdi Phase One and Two hospitals, the Gandhi Memorial and Associate Hospital, the Queen Mary's Hospital, uh, harboring the, uh, the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, the Lari Cardiological Center, and also the COVID-19 Speciality Hospital that has been opened very recently during the. Uh, pandemic other than that all the clinical departments do have their own wards and there are two OPDs the new OPD and the old OPD that is functional and also the dental department has, has its two own uh, state-of-the-art uh, facility buildings the nursing and paramedical faculties also have their own respective buildings and there's a different building that has been assigned uh, rather than telling buildings I should different palaces that has been assigned to each department starting right from the first year subjects to the super speciality subjects the classroom and now the uh, classes are held at uh, one single place that is a state of the art uh, alarm center that is a centralized ac facility that is there and there are six floor buildings with uh, more than uh, 15 uh, varied size rooms that are there in each floor and all types of facilities are there right from computerized teaching smart boards and uh, we do also have uh, one convention center that is there, that's um, also one of the largest in the state i believe that's the atal bihari vajpayee scientific convention center other than that we have a ground come stadium the sardar patel uh, ground that is there and other than that uh, we uh, also have a trauma center that is one of the best in the nation and next is how much patient load is there so patient load of king george's medical university is one of the highest in the countries and is quite comparable to that of uh, the ames delhi and it's being obviously one of the apex and nodal centers throughout northern india we do have a huge patient load but that presents us with a lot of learning opportunities uh, for us medical students next is about the senior junior relationship and dress code so Senior, coming to senior junior relationship, I believe this is one of the very important aspects of any medical uh, school, I, rather I should say the me medical life of any medical student because seniors do play a huge role in the overall development or rather I should the entire sustainability of a medical student at a medical college. The thing that begins as a small introductory session in first year turns out to be a homely relationship. Uh, and uh, seniors just help in every aspect, I believe, right from passing an exam to even the smallest of advices that is uh, that makes a huge impact in one's life. And that relationship, I, I believe, the senior junior relationship that is there, that is quite well developed. It's a legacy in itself we, that we Georgians actually boast of. And coming to the dress code that is there. So I believe, again, dress code is one of the most important factors that uh, makes a doctor presentable because that's the impression that you're gonna make in front of your patients fellow patients so and that is developed right from first year for in first year definitely the dress code is quite strict we have to wear long six buttoned uh, white coats or other aprons i should say and black uh, trousers uh, with uh, polished black shoes and plain shirts and for girls it is uh, salwar kurta and uh, again the long quote is yes, there's a bit of relaxation from second year onwards but yeah the sense of discipline that sets in once we are in the first year that tends to carry on uh, for the rest of our medical life and that's what i think also makes you a good doctor next uh, thing is uh, how is the hostel life here so one thing that is there in KGM is there are more than 20 hostels that are there within the campus and uh, some of them are on the other side of Gomti River that is a trans Gomti section that is an extension of King George's Medical University and they cater to the needs of both boys and girls and uh, MBBS, BDS, uh, nursing and paramedical students that uh, were enrolled in this uh, university. So I'll talk about the MBBS journey. So each year we have to change hostels, right? So for boys, it begins at the new CV hostel. That's the most uh, interesting and the most exciting part of the Georgian's life. That's what 
we have been been told by the seniors and we have experienced it ourselves and then next year we move out of campus to the transgomti section where we have the gn mishra hostel and then we come back to the uh, campus uh, for the third fourth and internship years uh, that is in the sardar patel hostel that is it and for girls it begins in the new new uju hostel or the dk hostel and then they move to vl hostel and then to mahamaya hall um but all girls hostel are within the campus currently apart from the second year gn mishra hostel all hostels are uh, double seaters or and some girls hostel are triple seaters yeah. but uh, what has been told to us by the dean of student welfare that uh, very soon we are going to have all single seater hostels and all girls hostel will be within the campus and boys hostel will most probably be going into the trans gomti section and uh, all kinds of facilities are available uh, be it a single seater hostel or be a double seater hostel we get a bed we get a big table a chair uh, almira and almira and some wall cupboards as well so there's no lack of facilities that are there and coming to the mess food that is there so mess food i believe it's uh, better than most of the government uh, medical colleges across the country it's far more than average and on top of that there are uh, quite a lot of cafeterias and cafes that are there within the campus and so food is never a problem here at king george's medical university and lucknow is known for its food so there's a lot to explore outside the college campus also uh coming to the fee structures and the bond uh, details that is there so the fee structure in first year it is rupees 54600 for general students and uh, from the next year onwards it becomes 30000 or 35000 depending on the type of hostel single seater or double seater we are getting uh, so that is there and uh, the bond details so this uh, two years of compulsory rural service bond after completion of the internship but there's a uh, one uh, thing that is there is uh, for all india quota students if we crack the neat pg exam or which is going to be called as the next exam from 2024 onwards if we crack that in one chance and we take seat via the all india uh, quota in pg also so the bond gets cost there itself but for state quota student they can fulfill it later after the completion of the pg now how much research opportunity is provided by the management now research is one of those things for which king george's medical university is actually known for the research culture here is one of the best in the country in terms of research we also rank in top 10 in the nation but what i am most interested about is the ug research culture that has been constantly growing in the last 2 uh, to 3 years or rather maybe 4 years i should say and increasingly large number of ug researchers are coming like for example in my batch uh, 2019 batch of K- kgmu that is there they close to 30 or 35 actively performing researchers that they are there at the ug level in my batch in the upcoming 2020 batch the number has risen quite a bit and it, it has gone past 40 so the thing that is that is the is culture is growing and uh, all teachers are ready to help in terms of research in whatever way it's possible we have a separate deanery for research and development and the current vice chancellor sir uh, he's very much supportive towards research we do also have a separate research showcase day where we celebrate and we acknowledge uh, and appreciate the uh, research uh, activities that are being performed throughout the college and uh, that's a big day here at king george's medical university and recently uh, another association has been opened the trainee research association at K- kgmu track and i am one of the founders of it uh, along with being a supervisor of it which is a completely ug association wherein we try to build on the research culture more at the ug level Now coming to how reachable is the college by means of transportation so uh, king george's medical university is located at the heart of the city so it's a uh, very much reachable by any means of transport the lucknow charbagh railway station and the lucknow junction railway stations are quite uh, nearby and even the charbagh bus stand is also quite close the chaudhry charan singh international airport is at a 15 km distance from the college and coming to the fest the college fest of uh, kgm is known by the name of rapsodi and uh, it is resumed this year after two years covid break so the, even for me it was uh, i was experiencing it for the first time and it's like once in a lifetime opportunity uh, f- uh, for me okay uh, maybe i'll be experiencing it uh, for uh, two more years but yeah it was one hell of a event a three day event and uh, after that uh, lots of cultural activity with these uh, competitive events are there and it's a wholesome event in itself uh, food and 
dance and music and DJ and everything. So it's a very enjoyable period for us Georgians. And also I'd like to add here that generally the Rhapsody is followed by a sports week. That is the, that was a, held actually one month after actually Rhapsody so um, sports we, uh, week is a, again a three day event that is there and our current vice chancellor has been supporting sporting activities throughout the year and each month we plan not just cultural events and, but also sports events and that that comes in the greenery of student welfare that each month there will be one cultural event and one sports event so we have music concerts and dance events on national holidays and each month ending we do have a sporting event like the Georgian Premier League for cricket, Georgian Football League and it's held both for boys and for girls and we support gender equality in this aspect. Uh, coming to how competitive is, is the environment at our college, so having having some of the best brains of the nation, definitely the atmosphere here is going to be competitive. The PG selection ratio is uh, definitely on the highest in the countries and uh, not just in NEAT PG but also in USMLE and PLAB we do have a good selection ratio. And um, what advice I'm going to give to my juniors who are going to come to the college who are going to join the college in future that yeah if you do have a quest for learning and having hand on training at the research level uh, for the research activities or for the clinical skills King George's Medical University is one of the best places that you should be joining that's what I believe and not just that it uh, helps in bringing about the overall personality development of an individual leadership skills are also instilled amongst uh, the me medicos right from the first day itself we have a anatomical society we have a physiology society we are given leadership roles and we try to bring about an overall cultural and personality development that is there then from second year onwards we have a student council that comes under the deanery of student welfare we have academic council as well that comes in the dean of academics that is the dean of medicine so there's lots of opportunity not just that we have recently also opened a community radio station at the community development center that is there at the Atilviri Bhatpai uh, scientific convention center where regularly podcasts and te telecasts will be held and so there's a lot of chance that's what I'm telling you. and there's a lot of even cultural societies and uh, literary societies that are there so there's a lot of chances for not just the academic development or research related development but also for overall personality development cultural development sporting development so there's no dearth of any kind of facilities here and we seniors welcome our juniors with open hands and we'd definitely like to welcome all upcoming juniors in this aspect Thank you.